What's happening everybody and welcome back to the Half-Ass Garage. Today I've got a little bit something different for you because it's just something I've just done in the last couple of days. Just little tiny things that I kind of picked up and got and I thought, you know what, maybe you guys would think this stuff is cool. Like I did, it's things for the shop, things to help you work and whatnot and I hope that uh, you dig them. So it's all three things for your shop or for your life that are under 20 bucks that, you know, are pretty useful. Keep in mind on this video that none of this stuff is any type of sponsored content or affiliate links, anything. None of it is. It's just things that I found and I thought I would share them with you and that's it. Like I don't get paid. Nobody knows I'm doing this. It's just me giving you guys, you know, the things that I found. So first off, let me show you the, the first one. This is my normal, you know, go-to mask. It's the 3M respirator. It doesn't fit underneath a welding helmet or anything like that. They're kind of tough to use. This one is my grinding one. But these were 13 bucks on Amazon for two of them. And they're low-profile dust masks. Not any other kind of masks. They're not for the thing. You know what I mean? Like, they're not going to protect you. They're just dust masks for out in the shop. So they have removable valves. So they're one-way valves. When you breathe in, they'll close and force you to breathe through the media here, you know, the removable stuff. And whenever you exhale, they'll pop open and, and whatever. So that's them. They've got a little, you know, adjustable nose thing. It's got like a little piece of metal in it. And you can change these. So it comes with uh, another set of valves and a bunch of these little removable, you know, media things. So are the, the filters. You get two of them with it. A little strap on the head so they go over your ears and then you know they'll kind of go over the top of your head to hold it up i think they're awesome because i can now wear them underneath my welding helmets where before i couldn't like it just wouldn't work so they'll fit on pretty good check it out right i mean it's not fitted on or anything but yeah awesome dust masks for dirt cheap they don't smell either. So like some of them you get and they, they stink really bad. But those are really nice and they don't smell like anything. So win, 13 bucks. Okay, second thing. Probably one of the better things because it's ultra handy. Check that out. A big aluminum tray for rebuilding whatever it is that you want to rebuild. Primarily, I was thinking carburetors. So there you go. I got this at Gordon's Foods. So I don't know if you have a Gordon's around you or not, but it's like a uh, like a restaurant supply place. It's, all the stuff in there is reasonably priced. It's not crazy. You just walk in. Um, I'm sure they carry this at a lot of different places, but $13.50. So a huge aluminum tray for $13.50 that will hold a curb. Obviously, it's non-magnetic because it's aluminum, so you put a little magnet on there. Any little springs or ball bearings that you got rolling around will catch on that. It contains all of your cleaning fluids and gas running out of the curb, you know, that kind of thing. So an awesome little deal there for $13.50, and it's nice and big, so you're not cramped. My desks are desks. My workbenches have, like, big cracks and holes in them, and then those are really unlevel and stuff, so things will roll off. This thing, no. So... It's great. Like I said, it's non-magnetic because it's aluminum, so, you know, put a little magnet on there. It'll catch all your crap. Not bad for $13.50. So on to the third thing. It's kind of a lifesaver out here because it's an old horse barn. There's mice and spiders and all kinds of stuff. It's damp out here. It's just this place is not nice to be in sometimes. So... You get out here, you're working on stuff, you're hungry, you're greasy, you're dirty, you know, all these different things, and you don't want to stop and clean up and go to the house. So what do you need, right? You need an awesome snack box. That's right. You need a snack box for your shop or for your truck or whatever. Something that's super easy. This is all steel. I paid 18 bucks or 15 or something for it. It's the nice big one. It's got a handle on it. Again, all steel construction, no holes. It's awesome. So that's it. Where did I go? Does it even say? doesn't say anything. California, whatever, so you'll die if you're in California. Whatever. So that's it. F full of snacks. 
So sometimes you need a little bit of sugar to keep you going. Got a big project, whatever. There, it's full of chips, whatever. Fill it with whatever you want. Nuts or anything that's healthy that you dig. If, if you're into that, whatever it is, fill it up with whatever you want. Here, I got kind of a, you know, a little bonus thing. <laughs> this is a fruit punch powder to just add to water. So normally I have iced tea out here. It's what I'm always drinking. But, uh, you know, I've got a case of water in the shop. And sometimes you just don't feel like water. So add a little bit of fruit punch powder to it. Got some sugar in it. Keep you going. There you go. It's dry goods. It won't, uh, you know, it won't go bad. As long as you keep it nice and dry, it won't turn into a big, you know, big huge lump of hard sugar. But with this weather seal on the thing, you're not going to have to worry about that. Stay nice and dry. Again, if you're doing a revival out in the field, you just grab this thing, slam it shut, grab it by the handle, throw it in your truck, off you go for the day, whatever. You could use it as a lunchbox, whatever you want to do. So there you go. There's three, th three neat things for your shop and for your life and working on stuff that I hope you find useful and, uh, you know, you get, get some use out of if you decide to buy it. So just look on Google or wherever for any of the stuff that you see because none of it's affiliate, none of it's paid, none of it is anything. It's just me to you. There you go. So thanks a lot for watching the half ass Garage. If you found any of this stuff useful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Help out so the channel can grow and cooler things can happen. So that's about it. Like and share, all that stuff. So I'll catch you next time on the Half-Ass Garage, and I appreciate you watching.